Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Worked try. So this is a characteristics of the keratoconus. So it is seen in terms of the keratoconus, and the Worked try they are vertical. It is vertical, and another thing, it is rarely horizontal. So it is very rare that it is horizontal and it is nothing but a whitish line in the deep of the posterior trauma, trauma so it is nothing but a white line so it is a whitish line which lies in the deep and the posterior trauma so it lies in the deep as well as the posterior stroma as well as the desmond membrane and the desmond membrane and commonly found in patients with the keratoconus. It is asymmetric depending on the degree of the keratoconus. So it may be asymmetric and it depends on the degree of the keratoconus. It is considered that it is positive correlation between the orientation of the lines. So there will be a positive correlation between the orientation of the lines with the steepest axis of the cornea. So it is a positive correlation between the orientation of the lines with the steepest axis of the cornea. Of the cornea. And the mechanism is related to that of the mechanical stress forces. So it is related to the mechanical stress forces on the collagen lamellae radiating from the cone apex so mechanical related to the mechanical stress forces which act on the collagen lamellae so it is on the collagen lamellae and radiates from the cone apex so there is radiation from the cone apex Next is the stray can be temporarily disappear. So the stray it can temporarily disappear. So this is with the external pressure on the globe with the external pressure which is acting at the globe. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe. Oh,